say that not everybody, not all human beings are a hybrid with a consciousness that, that they have planted for the awakening. There are specific people who have come down here to be catalysts for the awakening. The entities or the beings who are saying, you know, it's time to leave, it's time to leave, because I'm sure there are, you probably heard a lot of that, is they're trying to look for their people who haven't awoken that, um, that need to awaken so that they can find them and take them off the planet because they're here to do a job, you know, and they don't want them on the surface of the earth when the cataclysm comes. So you think, you think they collect them? I do think they will collect them. Mm. Because um, my impression is that there are some restrictions earthwise that might, you know, stand in the way. Um, speaking about governments concealing the airspace mm -hmm. uh, as much as possible in order to, you know, prevent uh, foreign entities in here. Shalom, kala yahawa b'ashem yashai, b'ashem rukah Double honors to my teachers, the apostles of Israel and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect with the house of David be born again in this generation. And shalom to the 130 Asherala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the elect and their objective and how they are recognized by others in this world. But before I get into that, let's read this. This is Revelations 11 and 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand, two hundred, and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth, and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood to smite the earth with a plague as often as they will. Now, what this is referring to is the southern kingdom, which are the so-called Negroes, and the northern kingdom, which are the so-called Latinos and the so-called Native American Indians, and namely the 144,000 elect, which will come out of these nations which are the spirits of the prophets and the teachers who have been brought back in these last days to bring a message and to seal the one-third of Israel, okay, and the, and the elect. Now, the video we just watched were from a group of, I'm not sure what they were, I've seen a, a few of these videos, right, but this video here stuck, stuck out specifically, right, these are people that are talking about the coming Uh, new age right how the, the world is going to be and how we're going to go into a huge transition and a lot of these people tend to talk about subjects like the indigo children that are going to be coming and that are going to free humanity and that these are different sort of beings that are here with a message and, and all that stuff now these people here they have some sort of spiritual connection right and they do have some sort of understanding but ultimately it's a false understanding it, it's they do not have the proper interpretations and why is that well that's because they do uh interact with the, the the angels on the left hand side right we know a lot of these people as uh hypnotists or psychics and you know witches right these people i think were just people who are um spiritually tuned and they tend to talk about you know raising your vibrations that type of stuff okay Because they weren't really talking about, you know, witchcraft or any of that, that type of stuff. But this, this topic here uh, um, stuck out to me. And the reason is because I have this other image, which let me show you now, of Sir Isaac Newton. You've probably heard of him. He's the one popular for discovering gravity or, or at least the being able to um, 
describe its effects because even till this day, science, science so falsely called, doesn't even understand what gravity is, right? Well, this man here made this, you know, pretty amazing quote, which let's read. It says, our ordination, Sir, Sir Isaac Newton wrote, you know, who lived in 1642 to 1747, said, about the times of the end, a body of men will be raised up who will turn their attention to the prophecies and assist upon their literal interpretation in the midst of much clamor and opposition. You see that? So even Sir Isaac Newton understood that the, there would be a rising of an elect, which would be the prophets that the Lord would bring back in the end times, right? And those people in the very first video, they also have this understanding, but they don't really understand who they're talking about. They don't understand that they're referring to the elect of the, of the nation of Israel, that being the nation of the Negro Latino Native Americans today, okay? And well, these, so these two people, these two groups of people here, they know about this, right? But why do our people, the, the, the Israelites, not really understand this, right? Why, why do you hear people talk about that the two witnesses are going to be two old, you know, thinking that they're going to be two old men coming with big white beards and they're going to come down off of clouds and they're going to be doing all these spiritual miracles like Moses did in Egypt? Well, you have none, none other um, to thank for that than these false churches, these wacky churches that pre preach crazy doctrines right they don't really explain what the bible is well that's why the world and especially our people have no understanding who the two prophets are or even the elect right you'll have some churches like the jehovah witnesses they'll speak about the 144,000, but their teachings are totally off they say that the 144,000 are have already come to the earth and that they're basically the the white elders of the of the of the watchtower which is like the head like members of the Jehovah Witness uh, church which is totally going off right the uh, 144,000 elect are gonna be the prophets the teachers of the Negro Latino Native Americans again who, whose true identity are the Israelites who the Lord is going to bring back in these times right these are special spirits that you know may have manifested throughout uh, you know time and history but have not been activated in the way we are activated today where where the lord put it on our spirits to go into the scriptures you know to have our teachers you know passionately you know and diligently search out what what the bible is talking about and and decode it right this is what's happening now which is not which didn't happen in the in the past centuries and why is that well because we have we as a nation the nation of israel had to go through you know our captivity and we had to go through all the 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 events which cultivated us into what we are today right that being a collection of two-thirds wicked israelites which are which failed the test and are ultimately going to have to meet their their, their maker and, and you know die for their own sins and then the one-third plus 144,000 elect which will have you know gone through the, the events they have been able to to make it through the furnace of adversity and have been basically polished and awoken and and trained up to under to to be that elect that will know who they are will remember uh, you know that we have a lost heritage and understand what's actually happening right it tells you here in baruch this is uh, baruch 2 and 30 for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. Right? So you see that? So that right there tells you that the Israelites, the Negro Latino Native Americans, that in the land of our captivity, wherever the Lord has spread us throughout the world, and the Bible says that the Lord has spread us to the four corners of the earth, right? Which means that there's going to be Israelites in all nations all over the world that we're going to remember ourselves. We're going to awaken, kind of how this lady said, right? The lady said that there is a, there's planted individuals with planted consciousness, but that there is another group of people who are brought here, who are brought down here, who are going to tell, who are going to be different, and who are going to be basically looking for their people to wake them up so that way they can get off of this planet. Well, that's what us elect have been put here to do, to, to wake up, 
learn this Bible and to basically preach it and teach it to our people to warn them of the coming destruction, right? The day of the Lord, the judgment of the world that the Lord is going to bring and that to be saved out of it, that you got to get right with the Lord. You got to return to his ways. You got to remember yourselves. You got to remember our lost heritage. And ultimately, we, we got to get right so that way we can stand in front of the Lord and ultimately be taken up into these chariots to be saved, like that lady said, right? To be, you know, that these people are gonna, are looking for their other people and they're to wake them up so they can get off of this planet. Well, that's us. And these people, how are they gonna wake up? Well, let's let's listen to this. This is Acts 2 and 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Now this here is talking about a more broader uh, you know, effect and how the Lord is going to awaken many, right? But ultimately this also refers to how the Lord is going to wake up the, the prophets, the elect, the teachers, right? The, the instructors of our people and he's gonna pour his spirit onto them, right? Along, just as he's gonna pour his spirit on to other Israelites who will have dreams, who will, will you know, testify to their dreams. But again, there's going to be specific men who the Lord is going to awaken. This is 1 Corinthians 4 9. For I think that God hath set forth us, the apostles, last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to, to angels, and to men. So you see here, the Lord, along with bringing back the apostles to lead this movement, right? He, the Lord brought back uh, John the Baptist when he brought back Abba Bivens, who started this whole movement for the most part, right? Who, who led down to, through the One West schools and ultimately to the apostles, which are here today teaching our people, right? So, so the Lord did that along with waking up other prophets. And how did he do that? Well, by sending his apostles Right, his his prophets to, to start a, a, a catalyst, which would then go on to awaken the 144,000 plus the one third of our people. That's one out of every three Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and anybody whose father's lineage goes back to that bloodline. This is Matthew's 24 and 31, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So you see, the Messiah himself has said it, that in these end times, the Lord will gather his elect, right? And who is his elect? Well, on the grander scale, that's his 144,000 elect, who are the teachers, the prophets, right? The leaders of Israel that were brought back to seek out Israel, the nation of Israel, with the candlestick, right? To test everybody, to make sure that they're in the right, and that, and then ultimately on, on the grander scale, the one third, right? These are also considered the elect for the most part, okay? But again, they're the, they're the wider body, right? And like the house of David, for example, would be the 144,000, okay? Now, the Lord, once this number is sealed, and the apostles have already said they believe that the, the 144,000 are sealed already, then we're going to start seeing a lot of the prophecies start to play out, right? Because why? Because the show has to go on. And all these prophecies that were prophesied have to come to pass, which is, can explain perfectly why we're seeing so many of these prophecies coming to pass. The Euphrates River drying up, the cataclysms on the earth, these Edomites doing the most to try to bring forward their agenda, right? And the one-third waking up. Right? And also merely the wickedness going, getting out of hand. Right? That's, all these things are happening. So now we're waiting for two major prophecies. That being the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip uh, being made mandatory. Right? It's already slowly being introduced to the world. Just ask the people in Switzerland. They're, they're all down with the mark of the beast. And then next, after that, you're going to see the prophecy of World War III kicking off. But either way, Akim, I wanted to show you that the elect isn't a new concept that we've made up. It's been something that has been known to the world because of the Bible, but also 
it is a concept and a force that these other people of the world like know exists that that they could feel or they have an inkling to what it is but they may not be able to understand it and that's just ultimately because this truth wasn't given to them either way hopefully this video was out of fine Akim. until next time i want to give all honor and glory and praises to yahweh bashem yashai bashem rakabradash double honors my teachers the apostles and shalom to the one-third of it yasharala shalom